Hello, and welcome. Zyndr, here we are again, back in Feed the Beast. I've cleaned up this mess, and I've built a little bit more generalization of, like, road over here, and I'll show you why I did that in a moment, although I probably should have centered that or something, but anyhow. Uh, speaking of which, this right here, it's the Coke oven. I have uh, cabling going the whole way from over there, turning uh, coal into coal coke. And uh, basically, I have this set up back here, which is a liquid duct pulling out the stuff into a portable tank, which is set up to automatically eject into a waterproof void pipe. Because uh, I looked through and I couldn't find anything I actually needed the creosote oil for, so I'm destroying it. And in other news... I have two things planned that I wish to make. Uh, the first thing, we're not going to be able to actually make too many things out of this yet, but we're going to make it a 2x2. Uh, two two. So this is the firebox, and I'll get into what this is needed for later. Uh, but I'm going to pull them out now. And then this is what we need to make in order to actually continue the uh, the other thing. This is blast furnace bricks. They're just made with magma cream, nether bricks, and soul sand. And in order to, you need 34, but you get uh, 4 per, so you end up with 2 extra. But uh, the whole point of this is that what you do is you take it and realize that I might not have enough room here for this, but we'll see. Oops. Uh, this is going to be off-center no matter what I do. So we'll leave it off-center in this way, because I can always adjust that later. So, uh, I, I know how it needs to be built. I'm trying to determine how I can fit it into my construction here, because this is going to be in the way. Yeah. So, basically, a blast furnace is used for turning iron into steel. And then steel is used in multiple railcraft added things. Ooh. That had an interesting little graphic. But uh, one thing I want to find out is... Whoop, don't mind that, I was looking at some cable. That's for a future project. Uh, the power room, actually. I want to know, can I feed stuff in via a hopper? And I'm going to try it with a piece of armor, because smelting armor in a blast furnace, it creates eight of it. Oh, lovely. Now the question is, does it burn the whole chest piece with one coal coke? I don't think it does. Hmm. Okay, so... I guess we'll go over here. It's going to take a while for me to actually get all the coke, coal coke I need to create an entire stack of steel. So... Well, at least that's going where it needs to. So I guess I'm going to let that just go. And we'll work on what else I was planning on. So this right here is the... Uh, basically the room where everything's going to transpire. This is going to be the power room. And I think I needed this torch for light. Uh, maybe not. But we'll throw it right there. So, I made a ton of redstone energy cells. Let me just pull my ender pouch out here real quick. Because you can see I've got a ton in here as well. And basically, uh, here's my plan. I'm going to start with an energy tesseract, which I destructed all those things, break them down. I'm going to start with an energy tesseract. So say this comes from the generators, and it is receive. So then what I want to do is I will run that into here. It should be able to work via touching in this case. And then I'm going to basically create a small sort of ring of uh, 
generators, basically. So. Then the plan is I'm going to... There's one too many things here. Uh... Okay, I need to do a small reorganization, I think. This is going to activate the main one. Uh, we will put it here. Should then be able to put a Tesseract... Well... It's going to be a bit of a pain to set up, I think. Because that should push into there just fine, no problem. We've proved that with Tesseracts before. But these don't like to work the same way. Uh, I guess I'll move that back, try to conserve my uh, wire, and that'll let me do... Why are you not... You're a liquid Tesseract. Get out of here. So, do that, 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 and that. So, you know, you think there'd be a much better way I could do this. I could make it vertical. Okay, let's try that, that that. That will bring the whole connection back full circle, basically. So, this will be the main power output. It will be send only. This will come from the generators, and it will be receive only. And that one's still up there, because I needed a source of power, so it's just kind of sitting here. It is quite full, actually. But, uh, what I'll be able to do is I can actually set the Tesseract up there to be generator output and then send it into the system, which I guess I can actually afford right now. So we will change this to generators. We'll set this up to 100. Very good. We're going to do the same thing for all of these. I'm just holding shift and clicking the plus and it's turning it up the whole way. So, this should send power into here, which is then sending it... It'll make... All that power should eventually make it into here. Uh, but the whole point of this entire sh construction is that... Uh, these are like this, and I have three gates. For some odd reason, I don't have three cobblestone pipes. Uh, I'm... I can almost guarantee you I'm going to have to make a cut somewhere in this video uh, so I can get the steel cooked up because I'm going to need a ton of it. So, yeah, but uh, I'm going to create a... Did I really only grab one pipe? What a terrible planner. The pipe is only so I can put the gates on it because uh, here's what I'm going to do. Right here here, to here, I'm going to place these pipes, and on these pipes, I'm going to place these gates. Now, what this gate is going to do is, basically, if it can store energy, it will emit a redstone signal. Now, these are all going to be on by default because every single one of them currently has room to store energy. And it's also why you saw that I had the jacketed wire searched. I have plans for that. Uh, but basically, the reason why I have three of these is it's going to be a three-tier system. And uh, this fourth cell right here is going to act as a buffer cell. And I'm going to need it during this system. Now, the first one that's going to start losing power past this one, of course, is going to be this cell. Which, for some reason, is gaining in power. Why are you gaining power? 
Oh, shit. And there we go. That that solves that. Okay. So, basically, these are going to output uh, tier 2 of the energy system. Is going to be the guys that we had before. What I mean by that is what I'm going to do is over here see I need 10 wide that's 3 on either side so here's so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and basically the whole point of this system Uh, is I'm going to transfer the power. I know I have 15 engines, but there's five more over there that I haven't moved yet. Spare so with me. Oh, don't do this to me. This is tier 2 of the system. I have uh, tier 1, you know, power source number 1. I have that in mind, and I also know what power source number 3 is going to be, but it's probably going to take a little bit too long to set all of those up in this episode. So I think I'm going to do this in a two-parter. Why? That looked like an aliasing glitch. Well, a glitch with the anti-aliasing as it's handled by some of the red power blocks and stuff. Which I... Th don't think I have Optifine enabled. Because Optifine, yeah, I don't have Optifine enabled. Optifine likes to break things. But, uh, anyhow. How much lava is in you guys? Not much. I'll let you finish what you're doing then. Uh, I'm going to have to let the other cells empty. But, uh, I want to create some jacketed cable. And I'll show you why in a second. Oh, I hope... Okay, this guy's going to have to go on top to make things far simpler. Yes, that should hopefully solve all my issues. Actually, these engines don't need turned on. They don't need separated like this. So... I guess I'll move this entire level down. I could technically just three stack them, but because there's going to be 20 of them in the end, that would leave me with an odd number. So here's the plan. I'll go through, set all of these to be able to pull power. Except that last one, as I'm sure you noticed. And I will just leave that how it is. Put an energy tesseract right here. And it will output to the generator's frequency. Send only. I'm sure... You understand what I'm doing with this. Uh, this shouldn't really be anything new. So, basically, uh, this right here is going to connect to a Tesseract. Uh, I already set that. So, I'm going to take this liquid Tesseract. I'm going to put him right here. Suppose I can put this in ahead of time. I shouldn't need to tell it to pull anything out. It should be able to pump straight out into it. And I'm going to set this to only be enabled when it has a signal. And it's going to be connected to the nether lava. So what this is going to do is all of these engines... Did I break something?
Why are these engines not running? What? I have it set to high. When you have a redstone signal, you're supposed to be on, damn you. Why aren't you running? Hmm, does it need to be? That doesn't seem right. Something must not be going on properly. Uh, that has no power. All of these have stopped. So I guess I'll just break this down now. See, this right here should be going just fine now. But that's not out... Oh. There we go. Okay, so. Put the rest of these guys in where they're supposed to be. Get everything set up properly. Supply them some pipe. Force the pipe to hook in. And now that should generate all the power we need. Currently. So that's just going to be one uh, power source. I have two more in mind. Uh, the primary one I can't do till there's plenty of this complete. Because I basically need exactly a stack of steel to even really get started. So I guess we can just move on to number two, which is the electrical engines. These are made from tin, a piston, and tin gears. Now, I'm only going to need probably three of these because they can be upgraded to be pretty goddamn strong. Uh, so, one, two, three. Yes, I'm aware there's already two stacks of pistons in there. Therefore, something I haven't decided whether or not I'm actually going to do yet. So, let's see, it's uh, nine for across the top, and then each one of them are going to require eight more. So, 24. Four more. Oh, looks like my quarry is actually working properly again. That's good. Uh, so three pistons. What else do I need? I needed three glass. One, two, three. Glass. Oh, I'm gonna need to make gears, and I have. Stone gears in here, no problem. I don't remember when I made that huge stockpile of them, but I had completely forgotten about them. It was quite bad, because I had made multiple sets of gear, or, well, gears, and then I'd see those and I'd be like, son of a bitch. Okay, so, we have electrical engines. These by themselves don't output fuck all. But, uh, I think it was bronze electron tubes, and I think you can put three in each of them. Uh, I kind of ended up making one of these extra before, slightly by accident, if that makes any sense. That might be hard to comprehend. It's one of those things, I've done it before, where I go to make, you know, get something prepared, and I accidentally make it. But, uh... I did that wrong, didn't I? Yeah... Of 
course I did. Oh, what did I just put in there? Last furnace bricks. We don't need you in there. Uh, bronze. One, two, three. Better have went in there. It didn't look like it did at first. Okay, so. There we go. Uh, this will remain powered. I'm actually going to be not too concerned about the power at the end of this. But the other thing I ended up making was a refined circuit board. Um, I actually needed less of them than I have, if that makes any sense. Can I use water cans? I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. But uh, I need two more of these. Which means that I need that. Then we put these in the carpenter. Water? Oh good, they do work. Wonderful. So, that'll take a little bit to work. Uh, so we'll leave that for a second. Do I still have a soldering iron? Yes, I do. Cool, cool. These are going to be the final tier of power source. Uh, we still haven't gotten to the first tier. Uh, basically, I'm trying to go from least renewable resource to most renew renewable resource. So whenever the final one gets uh, too filled, or not too filled, but whenever it gets completely drained, meaning that this one's empty, and this one's empty, and this one's empty, I want these engines to kick on. That is my plan here. Although I suppose I need to put something for them to hook into. Hmm. Yes. And then that'll come up. And that's liquid, isn't it? Yes, it is. So, this will also send into generators. Send only. And then I believe these don't run unless you give them power. Uh, I may not have enough cable for this. Whoops. Oh, I got 57. That should be enough. No problem. So, underneath in the network of stupid stuff I got going on here, these can be hooked to high voltage. You can see where I accidentally cut into here as well. Uh, the easiest way in there is probably here. Oh, I did it again. And as you can see, there is that. And what I want to do is basically bring this cable up. Uh, thankfully, this won't link into the pipe directly. I mean, it wouldn't hurt anything. It can accept that kind of power, the, uh, the applied energistic stuff. But uh, I'd rather not feed it power in, in two separate places. So, let's see, I'm right here, so I need to go one, two, three, four blocks over. One, two, three, four. Oh, oh. Uh, I may not actually have enough cable for this. Okay, so one, two, three, down. Actually, I'll bring it down right here. Six, five, four, three, two, one. 
Oh my god, just enough. And these can accept high voltage power, no problem. So there's no issue there. Uh, the only downside is... Oops. Is first of all that uh, I don't have them hooked in. And I wanted to make some iron jacketed cable. Which means that I need to bust down an iron block, but I haven't been I haven't been making any more high voltage solar panels, so this isn't a huge deal. Doot 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 doot. Block of iron. Slab. Covers. It takes exactly eight covers. Uh should have some red No? Okay. Let's just go over here then. The only problem is I don't have this hooked up to anything. So as it currently stands, this is when it runs out of power, it's out of power. Uh, I'm going to want to put three more stacks of redstone in there. There's two battery boxes hooked up to it still, so hopefully it shouldn't have any issues. Hopefully. Okay, so. If I open up the soldering iron, see it has electric engine. One, two, three, I think. Layout mismatch. Really? Amount of tubes does not match the size of the circuit board. Really? Huh. Interesting. One second before I actually craft anything with that. I have uh, this board over here. The question is, if I go one, two, yeah, that board doesn't work. And that board complains. I don't understand. Why is this not moving? Huh? Huh. You should really be doing... Three iron and a bronze. Oops, I was already in the proper room. I'm just wondering if maybe I'm having an issue with... Uh, well, basically, the issue stemming from... The soldering iron not having enough durability left or something? It's really awkward that some of the recipes have gotten really screwed up ever since they updated, uh... thingy. What am I doing wrong here? Do I actually have to put four separate things on here? Oh, hell. Well, I guess I'm going to have to look into that, but I'm going to make ele upgraded electric engines out of these. See, this is full, and this turned off now. Or it's it's full enough that this isn't showing as being able to supply power. But, uh, anyhow, 
So take this and go one, two, three, four. F doot, doot. Okay, so iron jacketed cable. I have no idea if this looks like what I want it to. I'm just gonna hope it does. One, two, three, go. Does this not hook into uh, that stuff? Do I need regular cable? So I wanted the big beefy cable because it looked cooler. There we go. So as it currently stands, I believe each of those only output two a piece, but I'm not going to fret over that. That should be fine. Uh, the last thing we're going to want to make is... Well, if you know Feed the Beast, you know what these are for. If you don't, uh, it's basically a boiler. I want to use up the supply of coal I have, because I have... Well, I don't know if you saw it, but let's just go over here real quick. I have 49,459 coal. So I figure, why not make a high-pressure boiler? Uh, the only downside is that in order to make a high-pressure boiler, you need high-pressure boiler tanks. And each one of these takes that. And I want to make it too high in a 4x4. Oh. Oh, I'm an idiot. Apparently, that makes four steel plates. Well, I do happen to have some coal, or coal, some uh, thingies in here. See, I'm going to need eight engines. Each one's going to take three plates. So I'm going to need 24 plates for sure. And then I also need, uh, what was it, 16? So I need 40 plates. Which is a number that is divisible by four, oddly enough. So that'll make me 40 plates in the end, so I'll come back to that. Uh, I'm still going to need the extra steel that's in here. Because, well, I'll get to the industrial engines when we get there. For the moment, how am I going to go about this? This doesn't need to affect the boiler because, well, first of all, I can't really affect the boiler much with redstone. It needs to affect the engines so they're not pumping into nothing and explode. And I believe the industrial steam engines need water? Actually, I don't think... I'm pretty sure they don't need water. I think they only accept steam and they don't need to be cooled by water or anything. They just straight accept steam. This, however, does need to be cooled by water. So... With that said, I think it's time to move this guy. So what I'm going to do, I want to leave him out in the open because I still want to be able to uh, grab the water. Well, as out in the open as I'm going to leave it, anyhow. Okay, aqueous accumulator. Feeds out of the up. Put that there. That there, that there. Uh, click. Oops. And because I want to make sure I have a good source of water all the time, I'm going to put those there. In case of emergency, I can come over here and click it like that, and it will output into it, no problem. So, that is going to be my emergency water source. Let's go check on the rolling machine. 36, make the last one. What is wrong with you? Let's see, and eight engines at eight. Oh, I still need a stack of fucking 64, so... I'm going to have to let this go. There's only two ways you can power a blast furnace, and that's with coal coke or charcoal. And I don't have charcoal. 
the good news is is that cold coke is a one-to-one -one process with the uh, the iron so I actually have extra cold coke in there now which is a really good thing okay so the cool thing about liquid ducts is they can be used to break things by break things I mean I can actually pull more out than I need to which means that if I were to I don't really must leave myself much room here let's move these back like that so assuming I do yeah that'll work uh, if I have them off the ground I'll need a four high space to wire up all the engines but I think that'll work just fine you know I just accidentally like I just now was thinking and I realized that there's a bonus to this jacketed cable that I didn't think and that's that I can actually run it past things and it shouldn't interfere with them it should only connect to and interfere with what I want it to connect to in theory the only question is is how am I gonna hook this up uh... hmm if I send it down like so right so say that's the eight engines where's my jacketed cable oh no I used all four of it uh, I'm gonna need nine in this case but to say I put the engines there I'm uh, just doing this so it can be down here. I can run in between them. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, move it back another spot. I just, I don't want that happening, because I don't know what will transpire if I do that, so I'm trying to actually avoid that. So I'll do that, that'll be good enough. Uh, so then I will put these here, like so. And then, uh, that'll come up and over here. There'll be a block here, except for it'll be one of the high pressure boiler tank pieces, which should be done by now. Oh, it's in my inventory. Derp. So I need eight of those. Uh, each For each high pressure boiler piece you put on here, you can power one industrial or, er, yeah, one uh, industrial steam engine. So, if I do that, I can then do this. If you just leave it on there, it'll output fine into it, but if you do it like that, it will pull out steam as much as it can. Uh, so, because these engines can only use so much, it should balance out. I might be wrong on how much steam it can produce and how much the engines can use, but... Uh, it shouldn't explode as long as I keep it supplied with water. Which, uh, one, aqu uh, one aqueous accumulator should have no problem supplying it. But, uh, let's just do this and this. That is now full. Uh, the aqueous accumulator fill that up, fill back the pipes, and then it will just sit there and be like, yeah, I'm good. It'll start to fill up itself eventually. Now, it is pretty much full. There we go. So, 
I unfortunately need the steel to continue this process. But uh, what these will do is they'll finish off on the lava they have in them. Which... I think each one of these can generate... Oh, I might actually need an extra buffer. Hmm... Uh, I have a calculator sitting here, but I have my light off. I'll just use this flashlight. Now, if I'm right, I don't know if it was ever changed. Last I knew, you get 16,000 per bucket of lava. Each one holds four buckets of lava, and I have 20 of them. So that is... Oh. That is three of these. However, those will only be getting lava when this needs power, but I'm definitely going to want at least a third buffer cell in here. If not a... I I'm going to want probably two more buffer cells, to be honest. So I guess we'll take this guy. We'll move him over to... here. This will go there. This will pull power in from the generators. This will then go up. Like so. We'll put this here. And then this will come back down. Uh, we'll disable the energy, the, the redstone control on these. And... That should solve all the things. So we've got uh, 1.8 million just on these three. This should instantly stop generating once this is full, which means that we have basically enough buffer for all of these to finish and finish what's in these pipes. Hopefully. Uh, should be, I hope. So, uh, basically, in the end, we have 80 Minecraft jewels there. Uh, I believe these are 8 each, so this will be 64. And I, I think these, once I get them upgraded properly, they'll be uh, about 12-ish or so. So, I shouldn't have any problems powering things. But my main goal is to run off of the 64. It will only switch to these and start using lava if this isn't keeping up. Those will turn on and off a lot, but uh, the, the thing about those is they'll sit there and buffer. If I somehow manage to burn through both of those, I'll end up here. And once I hit this point, these will kick on, and uh, hopefully between all of these I should be generating 200 Minecraft Jewels per tick. Which, if I was using a Buildcraft Quarry, would be enough to power two of them, in theory. So... Yeah. I'm not quite sure how long it takes to make steel. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the engines... Uh, check the time and wait for this to finish and then I'll be back with you so I'll be back shortly okay change of plans I just looked we're at 44 minutes so that's a little bit too far so uh, we'll pick up on this next time so uh, yep I'll see you guys next time have a good day